Hey, welcome back. If you've been following our channel, you know that we recently moved to Mexico as a family. And with the exception of about a month or so when we moved back to sell our RV and come back to Mexico, we've been here since January of 2022. Well, I'm also prior military, recently retired, and I was so accustomed to getting all my military checkups uh, done that this is just one of those things that I took for granted. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the process of how I found the doctor and the experience that I had visiting the doctor. So follow along in this video. And before we go, don't forget to like and subscribe and ring that bell so you can be notified next time we make a video. Here we go. It is 9.30 on a Thursday night. I'm off to see the doctor. One of the things that I, I've been wondering about since we've been here is how does it work to go to the hospital, um, the cost, um, and you know, just general stuff like that, especially if you're moving to a different country such as Mexico, you want to know how the process works. I'm about at my year mark, you know, I want to do my checkup, plus Kelly's always reminding me I'm, you know, I'm 45 years old, so there's certain tests that I need to get done. So a friend of ours, gave us a number to a doctor. So I text the doctor on WhatsApp. Yes, you heard that right. I text him on WhatsApp. He responded promptly, I think within like 30 minutes, gave me an appointment two days later. The issue is I have to go to the hospital at 9.30 in the evening because those are the hours that he worked. Here I am at the Purple Hospital here in La Paz and I'm gonna go see the doctor to start a process to get my checkup. All right, let's see. Any problem about your lungs or your breather system? Okay, now your eyes, you're going to watch my notes. Mm -hmm. Okay, watch my nose. Excellent, watch your nose, perfect. Okay, rest your eyes like this. Excellent, watching my nose again. We're going to do tomorrow an electrocardiogram. I think you know what it is. Okay. To check out your heart. Mm -hmm to see that everything is all right about the working of your heart. Okay. And also we're going to take an x-ray of your chest. I need to watch inside your lungs and your heart and all the twisties that we can see in an x-ray. Okay. Are you agree? Sure. Okay, excellent. So, every, every point that we're checking here is a different uh, area of the heart. Mm -hmm. So you use 12 points. You see? Okay, so we're done with the first part. It was a pretty good uh, visit with the doctor. He did a uh, chest x-ray. Um, he also did a uh, EKG. And uh, I got the results immediately. So I just got done with the pharmacy as well. Um, he ordered, or he told me to pick up one of these little bottles. I gotta do blood work and do urine tomorrow. That's gonna be the second part of this. I'm done. The whole process took almost an hour to get everything done. It's like uh, um, 10.25. So that's not bad. I got all my tests done, got the results read to me right away. So, no, not bad. But I still have to do the, um, the labs tomorrow, so then uh, we'll have a total cost at the end of this. The following day, I actually forgot that I needed to go do the, take the urine sample and I had to wait until a day after that. Either way, I was able to get it done and once I received the results, I messaged it to the doctor the same way I made the appointment on WhatsApp. He read the results, he told me what he saw was happening and ironically I did not mention to him that I had food poisoning two days before. You would think that'd be something you tell the doctor you're gonna go see, right? Uh, I didn't, I thought I was over it, but I still had some lingering, you know, feelings in my stomach. So he had me come back in, in order to pick up the uh, prescription. That worked out to be about $130 in order to pick up the prescription, which thankfully what he did was he gave me enough medication for now to take care of the uh, virus that he saw. Also, he, he prescribed another medication that I would take every six months just to make sure that you know I don't I'm not as quickly susceptible to getting sick again from food poisoning and no I did not get food poisoning from visiting the restaurants it was actually self-induced we brought fresh lettuce we didn't wash it properly 
So Kelly and I actually had the stomach flu. We were down for a few days. So TJ did not get sick simply because he does not like to eat his vegetables. So he was spared the hassle of running to the bathroom. So far it's 2,500 plus 1,800 plus 5,100 totals about 9,400. That works out to be about $485 cash. So what is everything that we paid for again? I paid for the chest x-ray. I paid for the samples. He identified it again that I had a bacteria that I needed to get taken care of and the actual visit of the doctor. The, did the EKG and all that was mm, roughly $500. Would I do it again? Absolutely. I like the idea that I was able to, you know, to speak directly with the doctor, not go through a third party or a receptionist or anyone, and that I have that one-on-one -on -one um, communication directly with the doctor. So I think for those reasons, I would definitely recommend that doctor and I would definitely go back. I don't have any plans of changing. Well, unless we move to a different area and then obviously I won't have a choice, but there you go. That was my experience. That's the total expense. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking for a doctor, I will put his information in the comments down below so you can contact that doctor directly. And if you do, just let him know you found him through this video. Hasta luego. Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment down below.